The decision is based on the outcome of the socio-economic impact assessment of COVID-19 in Namibia conducted in October last year. The study projected that overall poverty is expected to increase by an estimated 4,2% as a result of loss of income. As a result of loss of income, we have thus responded by resolving the revise and convert the food bank and special feeding scheme for marginalized communities into a monthly cash transfer as a first step to phase in a conditional basic income grant. It is a call for us to come in with the basic income grant, the universal basic income grant. But I'm not agreeing with that because I don't think a person who is a billionaire and a person, poor person, must be given the same amount. So while this call is on, I'm talking about conditional basic income grant. To complement the above social safety net program, Namibia will promote and facilitate the infusion of private strategic investment into the agricultural sector. This ambition will contribute to the national goals of bolstering food security and self-sufficiency. Namibia is further banking on green and blue economies to ward off the susceptibility to climate change and other disasters. The president told the summit that the country has developed a green economic recovery plan as envisioned in June last year by African leaders during the launch of the AU Continental Green Recovery Action Plan. Our ambitious plan to develop a green and blue economy as articulated under the economic advancement pillar of our Harambe Prosperity Plan 2 is hinged on our ability to work with global and continental partners to capture our world-class renewable energy resource and utilize it to produce green hydrogen. The emissions-free hydrogen will be converted into ammonia, which is a key building block for various fertilizer products. Locally produced zero emissions fertilizer can be used to provide a fertile opportunity for local and regional sustainable economic development. The African Green Revolution Forum Presidential Summit is also a precursor to the UN Food System Summit to be held in two weeks' time in New York. It further provides an opportunity for the continent to contextualize the food systems and develop a common position, especially on the need to increase funding for agriculture. If we are able to do that, we can probably work together to identify game-changing solutions to some of the challenges that we have in the sector, and also hopefully a series of national dialogues that will be help us achieve and widen our food production systems. But we must bear in mind that success comes down to implementing these bold ideas, not just discussing. We cannot afford business as usual when it comes to food systems and the revenues that depend on food production. Africa is believed to be a net importer of food to the tune of about 81 billion US dollars annually. Blanche Corres' NBC News, Ventuk.